Hello everyone and welcome to the chapter 8 of the fundamentals of computing and I hope you guys are in a good condition today. I hope that you uh, you still bo boast uh, sorry you still boast your immune system kasi ang hirap ng magkasakit to. Okay so for this chapter we will be learning the Microsoft Office um just uh, three products of microsoft they google uh, the the microsoft word their uh, presentation and then the spreadsheets and for the google doc google docs the google docs google sheets and then the google slides okay so i know that you're very familiar with this products you know, with this applications but um for the sake of our you know part of the topic na kailangan niyo matunan uh, kailangan nyo mabalaan that there are this really, really great applications to help you when it comes to this, uh, when it comes to your projects in schools or your uh, business to automate the, any calculations for din na and also that there also for you to be able to know that there are these great tools on how to really create a stunning presentations when you present something in in the school or in your clients when you have some business okay so delete na kayo na to discuss we will not be discussing the entire features niya i'm just going to give you the overview on what are these products can do to you okay so let's start first with the microsoft office so again you open the microsoft office and Ingun ani ang imong makita at first, okay? So in here you can actually search any templates. No, um, dagan kana sa gihatag dera, okay? There's no need for you to create a blank one kung gusto mo really nice document, okay? You can search the templates in here when you want a business templates. Make sure lang that you have you know internet connection for you to be able to search. And then, daghan put kayo diri. Wait lang, let me check kung na record ni. Okay, it's recorded. Okay, so you can have business, you can have presentations, you can have technology in the mga category. So all you have just to do is to um, click it and then see some of the, uh, no, some of the templates in here. Okay. So let's try one. Okay, I like this one. Okay, you click that one and you can actually check any other uh, themes. It depends on you. Okay, you click then the create one. It will going to download the templates and a yun. So here it is. Okay, so this is the Microsoft Word. You can actually find the tools in the home bar, no? Okay, in this section, you can have the font formatting, the paragraph formatting, the styles. You can just click this one and then explore all the different styles in the paragraph. Uh, you can actually check its properties here. Um, the, the, uh, the indents and spacing, you can actually um, update it in here. And then the line and page breaks. So just explore that, okay? And then, when you want to display number bullets, numbering, etc., you can find it in here. And then for the font styles, the uh, font family, the stylings, the sizing is all in here. The coloring, it is all in here, okay, in this area. When you actually go to the insert, you can find here how to insert a picture, how to insert the chart, screenshots, and etc. So it's all in here. Okay, and in design tab, you can find what kind of design you wanted to display in your document. So there's a lot of samples in here. Oh, you can actually just click it and then, yeah, just click, click lang. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try to create a new page. Wait. Okay, oh wait. So when you want to add a new page, you can actually go to the 
you know, uh, it's insert and then blank page or yeah, just anything you want. gusto. So you can find it in here, okay? And in design, I oh, sorry, it's a design, okay? And then in the page layout, you can find here if you want to adjust the margins, the orientation, what size of the paper you want to, the columns, and etc. Okay, and then the indention, the spacing, it's on the page layout. And for references, you can find here if you would like to create a table of contents, it's in here. You can actually just actually click on these things in here and then explore. If you want to have footnotes, you can find the footnotes here and how to insert in that. And then the styling, you can find, actually this is good for citations and bibliography. So when you actually create your, you know, documentation for your thesis or project and want to display the references in APA style or yeah, or in ISO, it's all up to you. It's all in here. Just going to highlight that one and then select the APA. And then or you can also click on the manage sources and then have some updates in here. Okay. So I will not be showing to you samples, guys, because masma masma do pata. No, you can actually search it in Google and how to really do it and explore, explore and then. And we also have these mailings in here. These are the sections that you can find. You can create envelopes, labels, merging, and etc. Okay, and review. So you have this spelling and grammar you can define. There are also thesaurus and then uh, word count, translates, etc. Okay. And in the view tab, you can find here the read mode, the print layout, the web layout. So just explore all these things in here. These are the, you know, different toolbars that you can find in a word. Okay. So let's move on and go to this um, Excel or the spreadsheets. The spreadsheets actually, this is one of the, um, one of the best tool also that can really help us to automate things. So if you want to create your monthly company budget or your household monthly budget, you can just easily click on the templates that you can find here. Okay, you can also uh, create a student schedule, weekly attendance report, simple invoice. Yeah, I guess I will not be discussing to you what are the different formulas that you can use in the spreadsheet. So you can just share it in Google and Google will give you the answers. Okay, um, let's try to have some example. The sales invoice tracker. Okay. So again, it's just a template, you click it, and then ta-da! Update, update, nalangin ka, okay? So this is an invoice tracker. You can have the invoice tabs. You can actually find the different, um, the different formulas in, in, in here, okay? Okay, this is, uh, you can, can input the title, the status, the key points in here. Okay, so this is a sample. This is how you are going to use the Google spreadsheets. Okay, so again, if you want to check the formulas that you can use using the, uh, the Google spreadsheets to automate the cal your calculations, feel free to Google it. Um, as for this presentation, you can find here the different tools that you can use. Same, same lang sila sa ano, Google Docs. But the writer is, uh, yung mga to is for documenting, okay? In here is for the aut automate calculations. So there's actually no need for you to manually, you know, when you want to have, when you want to calculate or you want to do some inventories, some cell stuff, uh, anything, blah, 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 you can use spreadsheets. Okay, you can use that. And for the presentation, of course, this will going to help you how to create the stunning presentations. Just could uh, just open your PowerPoint and then choose a presentation template. And that's it. Then explore the things that you can do. Let us say this one. 
the, the geometric presentation. Okay? Ayun. Actually, today there are already been a lot of um, templates in the market, which is free. So you can just actually, you know, download the template and then use it and that's it. So again, in the presentation, you can find the toolbars here. And then kung unsay mong gusto nga kuan, sa unong siya pagamit, then explore, explore lang ka. Okay, kay kung ako na siya tag sa tag sa unog discuss, then I'm telling you, you will get bored and basig makatulog mo dara. So, kabalo naman siguro mo pag uh, play ano no? Okay, I think you are um, you are a modern ng mga tao. No need for me to actually discuss everything here. Okay, and any and the other alternative, which is, which is really great tool, guys, is the Google Docs. Okay, this one is the Google Docs. Just search on the Google. Search uh, Google Docs. What I like uh, about this product is kuan mong good um dali ra ka maka collaborate with your team ba dali ra mo siya submit mapasa and no need for you to actually install this in your laptops cell phone I know in cell phones you need to install it kato ilang application but in but using a mobile browser or using a browser itself is automatic maka use na ka no sa Google Docs so spreadsheets and presentation medyo some of ano some of the tools lang gid nga imong mabuhat diri sa Google Docs ano sa Microsoft Office is not really in the Google Docs pero yung mga basic nga makailangan nimo is na ra man gapon siya okay so when you actually click a uh, search on the Google Docs you will be directed in this area and apo siya mga templates, no? If you want to create software development proposal, training proposal, dili lang gid siya like atong Microsoft Word nga medyo daghan ka mapili ana templates. But still, um, the same functionality, no? If you want to create a really great um, really great na mga documents, you can use this. Ang nakanais lang ani is uh, you can you can do we can do this offline and when you collaborate no kung daghan mo ga update ato na document is dali ra bitaw dali ra mag comment because there are comment comment na mga ano comment na features ani no kung daghan kay ga update kinun ana okay so also na pud si mga different tools diri kamo na lang explore okay para dili ta madugay so ayun Use Google Docs, the spreadsheets. The spreadsheets has ano also has different templates that you can use. Same sa Google spreadsheets. I know Microsoft spreadsheets. So sorry guys, <laughs> you can yeah. And then ang mga formulas again dili na ako siya ipang discuss tiris inyo. So if you want to create a uh, uh, wedding planner, kay magpakasal na ka then you just simply choose the template and then create okay so again why why i like google docs google spreadsheets present slides is you can actually easily communicate no no easily collaborate with your teammates kung na amoy team and especially kung dagan kay mogin update so yun so for the presentation is an ani Okay, you can actually use this offline. Kailangan lang ka na change nga settings diri. Kailangan niyo ma-on ang offline mode niya. Para even if you don't have internet connection, you will be able you will still be able to sync in ang iya ang ang imong mga changes once mo balik na ang connection niyo. Okay? You can use this offline. You can use this through of course a browser. No, kung nalang kay browser dara, then no need for you to install it in your um, in your uh, laptops or desktops. So, if you want to explore more, just go to these links. No, and majorly only free on Microsoft, but there are cracks that you can use. No, but I'm not telling you guys not to use cracks. 
Pero kung for business purposes, then it's really necessary that if you want to use Microsoft, you really need to buy their products. No, pero kung internal lang, I think, yeah, you can use free. How many free pod, di ba? Right, for free, you can use free. And actually, the Google Docs is entirely 100% free. No, kaya muna ng ganan kaya ko sa iya. And then all your documents are automatically saved in your Google Drive, or yeah, in your Google Drive. So delete siya mo wala ba? And then Google gives is giving you 15 free man siguro, 15 free na 15 gig na storage. So it's pretty, you know, big enough for you to uh, save all the files that you enter. So I think that's all for this video. What's the most important thing is you was able to, you know, that there are uh, a lot of, that there are products or applications that will help you to be, to automate things, to create, create documents, to automate calculations and to have a stunning presentations. You can now put the ano guys, Prezi for presentations. You can use Prezi. This is a presentation software online tools. Now the gun pugay mo my explore explore daddy. Um one thing that I have ano lang, one thing that I can actually share to you guys is um Prezi. Um nice kesha kung pas pas mo internet. But kung hini mo internet, it's really hard to you know update the things that you want to update the presentation but when it comes to um, the presentation itself the animations is cool kay really really cool and then uh, actually kay akong ginagamit pud sa ato ang mga presentations is Canva Canva is also a free 100% free pwede ka maka create dire og a lot of things that you want to create no, medyo wala na sa topic guys, pero these are another, another tools also that you can use when you want to create presentations or infographics or documents or marketing, um, posters, etc. Okay, you can use this one because these are free softwares. So I think that would be all for this chapter. Okay, so if you have any questions and clarifications, feel free to um, chat me and so I can help you. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have learned something for this uh, chapter. Have a great day. Keep safe and God bless. Thank you so much. Bye.